So I'm going to talk a bit about finger exercises in the left hand that are helpful when you're first starting to use those fingers. So in my, well, in another video, I talked about the left hand position and how to set it up when you're first doing that. This video will assume you already know all of that. And basically, the main point here is you want to keep your hand still while you play notes. So actually, I'm going to get my bow out so you can see what, you know, you're obviously, if you're a beginner and you're my student, you won't be using the bow yet, but when we play the violin, we, we move the bow to make the notes, but the fingers actually change the notes. So check this out. So that's what's going on when you hear someone of you play the violin. The problem is when people first start playing, especially kids, because you know they're so they're not aware of like the way their hands work yet. Um, the hand likes to move around a lot when they're playing the different notes. So, for example, the third finger tends to be the hardest of the first three, the one, two, three, to use. Um, and a lot of times I'll see them be able to keep their hand like this and their wrist nice and straight, but when they get to the third finger, it, they kind of do this to help push down, and that's usually when the, the position collapses. And you know, usually they're looking at the music when they're playing, so they don't really notice it's happening. So a really good way to practice this, um, to be sure that everything's staying in the right position, is to really look at your hand, get it in a good position, and watch your hand as you do exercises. So the first one we're gonna do, I'm gonna turn the turn myself this way a bit, is just the first finger. So we're just going to drop the finger like this. Put the finger down. You're going to want to pluck it so you can actually hear the, the note. Okay, got it. It's E. Back to D. And then you just do that. So zero, one, zero, one. Watching the hand to make sure it's not moving when you move the finger. Only the finger moves. See how only the finger drops? Then the next good one to do is one, two, one, two. So like this. Notice my hand stays the same. The only thing that's moving is my finger. Then two, three, two, three. We're not doing the pinky yet, so you can just kind of ignore that one for now. Other combinations you can do that are a little harder. Zero, two. Putting the fingers down together. Then you can do one, three. Like that. And then the last one would be zero, three. Which is probably the hardest one because it's hard to use a third finger but to go right to it all of a sudden usually results in that so it's really great to, to watch your hand and then just drop the fingers if you're a parent watching this video for your kid it'll help them if you watch for them because they may not understand super well what's happening so if you watch to make sure that this is staying the same yeah be great and then you can just, you can even have them make up their own little, um, own little exercises. So it doesn't really matter what you're doing over here. You're just getting practice, 
keeping the hand in the same position as you use the fingers. That's the whole goal of this exercise. So that should cover this topic. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.